Well, we have to talk about um, Anthony Joshua and his hunger. Joshua is hungry right now. And him watching that fight, the trilogy, I know nobody is talking about it right now, but I believe Joshua beats Usyk in the trilogy. I just believe him. Fury is concussed. Fury is concussed. Uh, right now, basically, he's concussed because this guy was is he wished us a happy new year in May, bro. In May. <laughs> so, um, how how hungry? If you how hungry is is at the now? How hungry is he now? After seeing after seeing that fight, being there as well, because he posted a picture today, you know, of you can tell that Joshua is in a very deep state of mind right now, bro. How hungry is just for that? How hungry is he? <laughs> My brother, um, there's a lot of politics in boxing, and that's why I well, well, well Turkila, Turkila, she, I think he's basically yes. He is basically getting rid of the politics because if not for Turkila, I swear, I swear, Fury would never, Fury Usyk would never have happened. You are right. You are not far from the truth. The fight would never have happened if not Toki Alashi, His Excellency. That fight would never have happened. It is time to do it with Frank Warren. These are, these are politicians. You understand me? This guy should go as Don... What is his name? Don... The other man left. Don Kings. Frank Warren should go with Don Kings. Rom Ebok should go. All these men should leave boxing alone. They are the people destroying boxing. They are the people destroying the boxers. They should go. Get people like Eddie Hain, young, with young men with bright vision to give them the fans what they're looking for. They are the one killing these games, man. Unfortunately for AJ, AJ suffers several disasters because of politics. AJ was hungry. He was hungry, looking for to become undisputed. And he became a guy that was slain by, by, by this, by, by, by this, uh, this uh, uh, Californian guy from Mexican guy, I've forgotten his name, which the boxing world still till today. Refused to forgive him. And the Junior, and the Junior, what? Andrew, Andrew Junior, yes. He yeah, was he, a he, he's, he's fighting. Um, he's fighting uh, Jerry Miller uh, in uh, yeah. August, August third. I, I want to see that fight. Jerry Miller and the Junior, let them bring it on. I want to see the best and man to win. Turkey Elashik is the one making that fight happen as well, bro. That guy Elashik yeah. is the savior of boxing. The guy is in the mindset that we have. He's a young man. His excellency is a young man. He's in the same mindset that we have. He loves boxing. Please, when you see him, send my regards to him. He's a good man. We need people like him more in the boxing world. With people like that, then the, of course the boxing fan are, are in short guarantee to see whatever fight we dream of seeing. He's been doing it. He's, he's trying. I give him respect for that. Man. So, Back to AJ. AJ is a guy with audio um, casualty, second, casualty attack. He came in under the moment of boxing politics. Well, let's see if he could. He, he is passionate. You have to understand something. When you were called to do this thing, you're going to be passionate about it. Alexander Yusek was called to do this thing. That's why the guy is passionate about boxing. Fury is boxing out of that's out of circumstances. I would say that he's not a passionate boxer. He does it for monetary gain. That was why he took the fight with Francis Ngannou. They won. Deontay Wilder is is is, is not passionate about boxing. These guys are circumstances boxers. Circumstance boxers. I don't know how to put it. Situational boxers. And then they take and have based on any situation that comes their way. 
they don't misplace. They don't juggle with opportunities. They take good advantage of any opportunity given to them. That is Fury. That is uh, Deontay Wilder. They are not. This is not their calling. Boxing is AJ's calling. Boxing is Alexander Yusef's calling. You could mention them. You could mention them. You know, me? you know whose calling is this this game. You know, me? That's why I was continue to respect Lennox Lewis. Hate him or like him or hate him or not. I respect the guy, Lennox Lewis. If under all of you, Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson, where are the generation of those fighters? Where are those men? Eh? Tyson Rathman, Oliver Moko, where are they? Can you compare that heavyweight of that, that era to this present era, bro? This is the era of harvesting money. And there is no passion about boxing. Thank God for, for His Excellency Toki. Alashida steps in to bring solution. That steps in to bail out boxing. Otherwise, I don't know what could have happened. Maybe the dream of Dempsey, who was the first undisputed heavyweight boxing, could have been buried. You understand me? Bro, it makes me even hungry right now. But that's what the other that I was talking about. I'm like, damn. I wish His Excellency came on board at the time of Water Joshua when they weren't defeated, bro. Just imagine how big that fight would have. Oh my God, bro! Huh? Joshua would have been undisputed if if His Excellency has stepped in, and it is the cry, is the tears of Jack Dempsey, is the tears of Joe Louis, Joe Louis, the tears of Ricky Mosciano, the tears of Muhammad Ali, the tears of Joe Frazier that brought this man back to salvage boxing. Otherwise, boxing would have been history by now. Heavyweight division would have been history by now. Since the days of Mike Tyson, who want to step into that ring with, with Lennox Lewis, with darts, because they were passionate about fighting each other. Even the whole of you, crucial word on the spirit, step in there and become the champion of the world. He said you want to compare with Deontay Wilder with no vision, no passion about these spots that uh, Bob Aaron, uh, Frank Warren almost destroyed. Bro, I don't want to have that discussion here right now. But I want to thank His Excellency for stepping in on time and salvaging the boxing war. So we, would we ever see Fury fight Joshua? Because... It doesn't look like he, he wants Joshua now, or he would want Joshua now. Tyson Fury will be unfulfilled except he fight Joshua. If he likes, let him disappear as he always. If he likes, let him come back with another story until he fights Joshua. He is not among the greatest of the great. He has to fight Joshua. If he, if, he wanna, if he doesn't want to rematch, he has to fight. That's the fight England is looking for. That's the fight the world wants right now. Everybody want to see that fight. If you want to disappear as you always done in the way of the Gypsy Kings, it's about history. It's not about boxing anymore. It's about the legacy. It's about what you will be remembered for. The greatest fights, fights that you partook, fight that that united the whole world. That's what people are looking for, bro. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate your take on this. I can't wait for the uh, two-time unified every king of Universal Joshua to reclaim i think joshua will become undisputed i just see it because his eyes his eyes bro he's hungry bro he will be undisputed i am i can i show you right now he will be undisputed my brother i i don't want to say this maybe that's another tip entirely but i want to i want i want you to understand that anthony joshua has always been the guy that salvaged the heavyweight division even the last the last remedy of Anthony Joshua to heavyweight division was when Frank Ngannou almost dethroned Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua stepped up 
and kept the heavyweight division intact. That was a rescue mission. Anthony Joshua is on rescue mission to preservation of heavyweight division. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Explain for the proof. There was no noise in the heavyweight division. Bro, have you forgotten how John Wilder held on the WBA? But for a very long time, and then Joshua was the guy that went around collecting all the belt from Martin to Charles, to Charles Martin, to to Parker. to the Pevekin, to Parker, and yet could not lay hold on WBA. WBC. And heavyweight division had w WBC. gone. Uh, is that WBC? Yeah. And couldn't lay hold on WBC belt? Have you forgotten? Have you forgotten in yeah, the man, days? It's true, it's, it's true, man. It's true. Was not even mentioned when the heavyweight division was not even mentioned. Bro, PBC also played a very huge part in that because they were literally giving War and Wilder such a wrong, I think, wrong info. Because how come uh, Wilder is now sees PBC, PBC or some of some of as he said that uh, he was betrayed in a way that he was taken advantage of and money was stolen from him in a way. So. No. I tend to disagree. America was looking for the, the champion after Ivan Holyfield, after Mike Tyson, and no one was there to represent America. If a fair job was originally to come from, uh, from America, uh, uh, America, if a job would have been the guy, America would have looked for, they would have given a fair job all the support. So there was none. The only guy that was claimed was Deontay Wilder, who was always one state win with the right hand. So America depended and could have done anything to keep him afloat, even by denying him the basic fights that could have made that American name not to be on the map, on the world globe. So he was kept there. So he was talking trash. So he was there. He knew what was going on. He didn't want the fight. He was that good. He would have been brought to compete with the son of his level. They what? They were giving him at all. At all. At all. What's the name? Sp uh, Spencer. At all. Spencer to dance around. You understand me? And then they will raise his his his, his, his mate, the king. What's the name? The, the, the guy from uh, uh that that he always mentioned how he beat five three four five times. They uh I, I just forgotten his name man. You understand me? So who, who's that? The, the guy the hunter white I always mentioned that he fought Otis. Oh Otis you mean you Luis Otis. Otis was well made for him to sign every other boxer. Why did Deontay Wilder? I kept asking one question. Why did one Deontay Wilder not fight at the Ruiz Jr., who were in the same PBC fight? Why? Why? Why did you not fight? I think I think Ruiz Jr. prized himself out, bro. No, 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 no. Before the race, Junior even fought Anthony Joshua. Why did they not let him fight fight Deontay Wilder? And they just let him pride himself. Our opportunity came to him and he harvested it. He took due advantage of the opportunity that, that was presented to him. Yes, of course. He was on the spirit. I mean, he was unified heavyweight champion of the world. He should still be accorded with that respect to fight, fight Wilder. That's where passion comes in. If you are a passionate boxer, you don't care how much you're being paid. You want to make that name for yourself. You want to be mentioned when Muhammad Ali is mentioned. You want to be in that class of Mike Tyson. You want to be in that class of Lewis, Lennox Lewis. You want to be in that class of uh, Musiano. That's the class you always want to be. The class of Geoffrey the class of Ricky Mosciano. That's the class you want to be. I leave it there for now, bro. Thanks, bro. I do appreciate your take on this. I'm very, very, very happy to hear your take on this. I can't wait, bro. Joshua is hungry. Hungry again. You know when he is hungry, chaos comes with it. And I'm glad, glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm very happy Joshua is back. His resilience. He, we need Joshua, bro. Joshua is without Joshua, the division would be nice. Ah, so we also need Fury because he's an entertaining guy. He talks a lot, you know. He's very loud mouth and stuff like. That. We love him. I love Fury, like, but I'm glad he, he lost in a way because 
had him been a bit, he, he had him been he got the victory over Usyk, who we'll never yeah. see again, bro. He would run off the source, bro. He will, he will, he will maybe fake another, fake another mental health issue again, you know, like he did before. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna be crazy, <laughs> crazy.